All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Airbus 320 Tech Talk. What do all those buttons do? Uh, welcome back to the uh, channel. Sorry, it's been a few weeks uh, since I posted a video. I've been a little busy with the holidays, but I am on an overnight here in Dallas tonight, and uh, I'm getting back to uh, our discussion about the upper overhead panel in the Airbus 320. The last area that we have to talk about um, is on the top right side of the overhead here. Uh, just a couple other items to uh, wrap our, up our discussion uh, before we move on down to the lower portion of the overhead panel here. Uh, first off, we have this area here, uh, this uh, reading light uh, switch here. It's just a, a dimmer switch um, that uh, this, this little light here, which you kind of angle around, is, is just uh, put in place for the uh, person that might be sitting in the observer seat that we talked about last time, or the jump seat. Uh, that's all it there is there for, so that's what that is. Moving down from there uh, is kind of an interesting thing, and I feel like I'm, I'm kind of going to blow your mind a little bit uh, in a way. It kind of blew my mind when I learned this airplane uh, to see a portion of this. Uh, data loading selector system here. So what this uh, data loading uh, system is all about is so basically we have a way of, um, you know, m many components in the aircraft have a, uh, a means of like updating software basically or information or databases um, that, uh, you know, just need to get new or updated data for whatever reason. Um, so right out of the, uh, the operations manual, um, the data loading system um, it makes it possible to upload databases or operational software or to download system reports from various onboard computers. So um, all that this data loading selector uh, switch or, or panel up here rather does for you is of course you have an on and off switch to, to uh, power up this, this system here and these buttons here just kind of serve as a means to navigate through, for, through various menus to accomplish um, the uh, the uploading or downloading of data, like we said, uh, onto the aircraft system, and this could be like uh, many different things. It actually, kind of interested me to uh, to learn this, but I mean, of course, we have you know functionality in the FMGC or the flight management computers that have like navigation data, or there's many other components in the aircraft that you know have, have various uh, uh, forms of uh, programming that are installed to them, and, and maybe need, need updating or, or like we said, uh, just a, a downlinking of, of some kind of stored data that might be uh, saved in the system for whatever reason. So that's this, this panel here is a way for the maintenance folks to interact with that system and, and accomplish just that. And uh, the, the part that I said, <laughs> I was going to kind of blow your mind here. Um, if you were to look down on the lower uh, left-hand portion of the pedestal area inside the Airbus 320 cockpit, there's this little... Uh, area right here and there's a door here and um, I'll show you in the next slide here if you open up that door uh, there's actually a, a three and a half inch uh, floppy disk this is you know a very um, old antiquated means of uh, you know utilizing data to begin with I mean m many of you uh, depending on how, how old you are you probably remember these little uh, three and a half inch, uh, you know, quote unquote floppy disks from the early computers that we all had, uh, maybe growing up or, or uh, you know, whatever, whatever your, uh, your generation was in life that, that interacted with computers as they came of age. But um, this just kind of blew me away to see that this was uh, still the way that they, they were loading uh, data on this aircraft here. So um, that is what that data loading selector panel is all about. Um, like I said, uh, I hope that uh, things get a little more exciting for you as you move on to the lower overhead panel. I think they will. So we'll, we'll kind of uh, continue our discussion on to talk about um, more uh, specific systems um, on board the aircraft and, and maybe get in a little bit more in detail about them. That's kind of my aim. So um, hope you've enjoyed it up to this point so far. Hope you have a great holiday season and we'll talk to you guys sometime soon. So thanks again for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.